The Friends of Zion Museum opened in Jerusalem in 2015. The goal is to tell the stories of the Christian heroes who helped Israel during its most difficult times. And all the while, it's training the next generation of heroes. Shimon Peres, Israel's ninth president, served as chairman and global ambassador for the Friends of Zion Heritage Center. During his tenure, he commissioned the Friends of Zion Award to honor those who have fought for Israel and the Jewish people in truly exceptional ways. Founded by Dr. Mike Evans, the Friends of Zion Heritage Center is home to Israel's number one smart museum visited by Jews and Christians alike from around the world, where they have the opportunity to learn about Christian heroes who have fought to defend the state of Israel and God's chosen people. In addition, it will soon be home to the first Ambassador Institute, Research Institute, Christian Zionist Think Tank, and Social Media Communication Center. Friends of Zion already has over 45 million social media followers worldwide and has been endorsed by over 100 world leaders who have stood side by side with Friends of Zion in defense of this great nation and its people. This most prestigious award has been received by President George W. Bush, Prince Albert of Monaco, the presidents of Paraguay and Guatemala, and was recently presented to President Donald J. Trump by Dr. Evans in the Oval Office. Well, Mike Evans is here with us now, and we welcome you to the 700 Club, Mike. Why is it so important to tell these stories of Christian friends of Zion? Heroes in history, the ability to confront evil is only determined by the inspiration you draw from your heroes in history. Pat had a hero, Corey Ten Boom. That's right. That's our work in Holland. That's I, I restored her, her home in '88. Praise I'm God. I'm the chairman of the board. Well, you, if you don't have heroes in history, when you're confronted with evil, you'll cave in. Yeah. You'll cave in. The Friends of Zion Museum has given a special award to pre past presidents, to current presidents, yes. to other great heads of state. Tell us about that award. Well, let's see the award. You okay. have it here. I, want I you do. To see it. I want to see it. The, the award, this, wow, this look award at this. was commissioned by the ninth president of Israel, Shimon Perez, and it's to celebrate Christian uh, leaders, leaders who are defenders of the Jewish people. The menorah, God Almighty commissioned the menorah. He told Moses to put it in the tabernacle. That's true. Then it was in the temple. And of course, it's the seal of the state of Israel and of the Jewish people back from the beginning of time. And of course, the, they put the pure oil in the menorah mm -hmm. and it, a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Well, we, the last one who received it was Donald Trump in the Oval Office with mm. most of the evangelical leaders. But today, the recipient of the Friends of Zion Award is Pat Robertson. Yay! Oh. Woo! Awesome! I wasn't expecting this. I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, it is. For more than 50 years, there's no man on the planet in America who has been a greater defender of the Jewish people in the state of Israel than Pat Robertson. You've mobilized millions of Christian supporters. Right. What you've done for the nation of Israel is legendary. So I, it's my honor, Pat, to present you with the same award that President Donald Trump received, George, President George Bush, Prince Albert of Monaco, and many world leaders. God bless you, my yeah, brother. Great. Mike, this is a Can great uh, careful, honor. Careful, you have to hold it by the bottom. It's a little pad. bit heavy. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah, that's beautiful. That is, oh, that's Isn't a that menorah. gorgeous? That right. is incredible. Yes. Well, I, Mike, I'm so honored to receive this. This is a great thrill for me. Thank you. can put it here you. on the table if okay. you like, right. so we can get a good shot that's of it. That's beautiful. I will audience. put it in a place of honor and, yeah, and that is well, be when thankful I, for it. When I presented to the president, I said, and the vice president was there, and Von and Jared, and I said, you know, it's a symbol of divine inspiration and light. Yeah. And I believe with all my heart, Pat, that when you began this ministry, you made a commitment to bless the Jewish people in the nation of that's Israel. Right. And that's why I believe God's blessed CBN so greatly. Without question. Yeah. Without question. And, you know, I, I, I swore whatever happened in the world, however unpopular it would be, that we would stand with Israel, come what may. And God has honored that. And yes, he has. Yeah. Well, beautiful. I want to say that CBN has long dedicated itself to supporting the state of Israel. In fact, on the day that this ministry was taking a major step forward, prophecy was actually being fulfilled inside the walls of Jerusalem. Take a look. In June of 1967, 
Israel found itself fighting for survival for the third time in less than 20 years. And now what's known as the Six Day War, Israel's Arab enemies fought with one purpose, the destruction of the Jewish state. And half a world away from the besieged nation, God was raising up a friend. We dedicated the start of construction of a new phase of our building in Portsmouth. And the ceremony uh, was over when one of our board members came and said, they've just started war uh, in Israel. Something just responded within me. I knew this had enormous significance, that we at CBN were linked with Israel and that this had to do with the last time. It had to do with the fulfillment of the prophecy that Jesus made when he said, Jerusalem will be trodden underfoot of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. This was the war that liberated East Jerusalem. The peace did not last, however. In 1973, Egypt and Syria attacked again, this time on Yom Kippur, Israel's holiest day of the year. An unprepared Israel almost lost that war, and the high casualty rate left many in the country disillusioned. A 1974 CBN special brought a message of hope to a war-weary nation. It became so obvious to every one of us in this country that the threat was to the very existence of the newly born Jewish state. Here was uh, the general, actually, under Moshe Dayan, who had uh, captured Jerusalem. Now he'd become prime minister. But I had a sense that uh, Israel was so alone. He was, there was a sadness in his voice. He asked America to be strong. And at that point, I made a vow that whatever happened, however unpopular it would be, that uh, we and those associated with us would stand with Israel, that we would be the friend of Israel, regardless. And over these 30, 35 years, I've kept that vow. Three years later, CBN dedicated its satellite Earth station. As a preview of things to come, the first satellite image received came from the Mount of Olives. Since then, the alliance between CBN and Israel has only grown stronger. In 2001, a news bureau opened in the heart of Jerusalem to bring a prophetic understanding of end time events. The march of history is leading back to the city of Jerusalem, and it's vital for CBN News to be here reporting on the events before the return of Jesus Christ. At Pat Robertson's 75th birthday celebration in 2005, Benjamin Netanyahu sent a stirring thank you to Pat for his friendship to Israel. Pat Robertson has been a magnificent friend of Israel and he's been a personal friend of mine. Uh, I felt that we had no greater friend in the world, and I mean that, we have no greater friend in the world than Pat Robertson. In August of 2006, Pat traveled to Israel during the war to demonstrate his support. I'm here, among other things, to tell your people that the Evangelical Christians of America are with you, we're praying for you. We pray for the nation of Israel. CBN also has shown its humanitarian commitment to those living in Israel. Through Operation Blessing and Ellie Israel, CBN has helped Israelis in need, including survivors of the Holocaust. CBN News now sends Jerusalem Dateline, an award-winning half-hour weekly program around the world through broadcast and the internet, where it's translated into languages like Korean and Finnish. And in our hands, the battle for Jerusalem is the most ambitious project of CBN's Middle East documentary team, with more specials on the way. CBN's ties to Israel remain strong and steadfast, and we will be there to report the prophetic events that herald the day of the Messiah's return. This is the, the land that the Lord is going to visit. He's coming back again to Israel. On the 50th anniversary of the Six Day War, America has now recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And Mike Evans, how significant is that that President Trump said this is the capital? We, we recognize it. Pat, you prayed, you believed for this, and I did too. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I didn't think I'd live to see it. <laughs> oh. right. He, God, nine presidents wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's right. Nine presidents. And he said in the Oval Office, he said, what was wrong with them? 
This was the right thing to do. Always. But we know what happened there. The Holy Spirit touched his heart and let him know. And, and there were strong people like Ambassador David Friedman and the vice president. He's got a strong team yeah. that believe and are stood with this. And what a day, what a historic day, well, prophecy. How important do you think it is to the Jewish people to realize they've got the support of the president of the United States and the whole of, of, of the evangelical Here's worldwide. what they tell me, Pat. Yeah. They say, for the first time, we are not alone. We have hope. Yeah. You know, they had like what's called the Auschwitz syndrome, where they felt alienated. Sure. They'd have to defend themselves, argue, everybody's going to attack us. Not anymore. Now, for the first time, and you know, Jerusalem was the soul of the Jews. Why? And now, all of a sudden, it's back. Mm. It's back. So they're beyond happy, way beyond happy. Well, Mike, we're so glad to have you. Thank you for this wonderful uh, token. And uh, we just thank God for you. Well, for more information about the Friends of Zion Museum, be sure to go to CBN.com. And uh, Mike Evans, a dear, dear friend for many years, thank you for what you're doing. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, Pat. Thank you.